Hi, this is Juan from the Music Square and Boynton Pro Audio. I'm here at ATS Recording Studio, and today we're gonna to be checking out the Avid 11 rack. Um, if this one looks sort of uh, used, it's because I wasn't actually walking around in the uh, warehouse to, uh, to pick one. This is actually mine, so this is something that I use all the time. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go over all of the uses that you can, uh, you can, you can put this thing through. Uh, whether you want it to be an amp modeler, a recording interface, you know, if you wanna use it to record vocals, if you wanna use it as a backup unit in case an amp goes down when you're playing live, if you wanna use this as your main amp when you're playing live, you can do all of that. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna listen to um, some of the sounds that, uh, that are in here. Um, one of the things that I really like about this is it actually accurately represents a lot of classic amps and a lot of the favorite sounds that guitar players uh, um, are, are after. And while it's not probably a direct replacement for those amps, if you're going to be recording at home and you want to be able to get really in the ballpark of those sounds, you're definitely going to be able to get there. Um, so we're going to check out some tones and then we're going to see how you can also use this to record DI tracks as well. So that way, if you want to use this as a way to dial in ballpark sounds and then go ahead and reamp those sounds through some of your favorite amps or reamp them through sort of tweaked patches in the 11 rack, you can go ahead and do that. So in the intro and the uh, piece of music that you're going to hear at the outro of this too, uh, we recorded it using two different uh, guitar patches. They were pretty similar to each other, but just to kind of you know make the sound a little bit wide, uh, we ended up using two tones. Um, this one's particularly based off of a hot rodded Marshall sort of sound. Um, and one of the things I've got going on in here is uh, you can have different effects in, in front. You can have parametric or graphic EQs. You can have distortion pedals, you can add modulation effects, you can have delays and reverbs and flanges and all sorts of really cool stuff. Um, so this one is just their, uh, their DC Modern patch, sort of a hot rodded Marshall. I've got uh, the equivalent of a Tube Screamer in front of it, and then I've got a little bit of EQ going on in there. So we're going to check that out. <laughs> Here's a very similar sort of patch. This is the other side when we were recording what we used. Um, this is more of a Soldano style uh, patch. Um, and uh, this one also has an overdrive in front of it. So then moving along, we're gonna have sort of a lead tone happening. Um, this is another sort of Marshall circuit. Um, this one has some reverb and delay happening in there. So that can be kind of fun and it's got tap tempo in there so you can go ahead and change those parameters also. And then, moving right along, uh, we've got a pretty cool um, clean sound. Um, this is uh, gonna be more of a black face sort of sound, and we've got some reverb and delay happening here as well. Okay, and now here is more of sort of a straight ahead classic uh, Marshall sound, not so much of the souped up thing that we heard, up, heard earlier. Um, so here is their JCM 800 patch. <laughs> Okay, and then here is their sort of tread plate Mesa Boogie style, uh, style amp patch. Okay, and here is an EL84 voiced amp, uh, very British sounding. You can probably figure out what this one is. So we've got this, uh, this sort of tone. Okay. 
So one of the coolest features about the 11 rack, at least for somebody like me, is uh, the ability to reamp with it um, and record DI tracks. What that is, uh, is very rarely these days do people just go into a studio and just only mic up a guitar cabinet and try and capture the perfect sound that way. Oftentimes what they'll do is they'll mic up a guitar cabinet and hopefully get it on the first try, but they'll also record a DI track as well. And what that allows them to do is if during the mixing process, the guitar sound they, they decided to choose doesn't quite work in the mix, they can go back and reamp that dry DI signal back into an amp that's maybe dialed in a little bit differently or into a completely different amp and use that tone instead. What's really cool about the 11 rack is aside from being a great effects processor and amp simulator, it also has a built-in DI box in here. So what you can do is simultaneously record your affected sound and your DI track at the same time. That's great for using the 11 rack to either dial in a ballpark recording sound to then you know reamp it later or to dial in a sound that out of the 11 rack works for tracking and then reamp it back into the 11 rack later for a sound that you're going to want to use in the mix. So you can do this a couple of ways. The easiest way is to just use the included little USB cable and run it in that way. Um, at the same time, if you want to take advantage of cool mic preamps or using your recording interface you've already got, you can set the outputs to amp to do different things. And one of the things that you can have that do is go out into your recording interface and record your DI track that way. So all you need to do to do that is grab a handy little quarter inch cable, pop this guy right in here, or it also has the same option to run the amp out to on the back. And then just pop this guy right into our handy little interface. And you're ready to go. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to listen to what the affected guitar sounds like and then we're just going to play you the DI track as well so you can hear what that's going to sound like. So there are a lot of ways that you can set this 11 rack up. You can use this as sort of a standalone unit with a MIDI controller to just run front of house to a PA system if you want to have a really portable, lightweight rig that's going to be really reliable. Another way you can run this is you can either use it with a power amp um, or running it into just the effects loop return on your current guitar head and run it through a cabinet and run it just as a preamp you can run this in the effects loop of the amp that you've already got and not even use any of the amp simulations and use it just for its effect. It's got some great reverbs, some great delays. Um, that's a really handy way to use this. You can use this as your home recording unit. You can run it just USB direct in and record your DI tracks, record your affected parts that way. Um, there's just so many options and so many things you can do with this unit. Um, like I said, this is actually my current guitar rig. Um, and what I'll use is I'll use a dirty head on top um, and then just use this amp here and run the uh, 11 rack in its effects loop for all of my reverbs and delays. But I also have this as my backup unit as well, so that way if everything explodes, I can just run direct to the house uh, with this guy. Um, it's also my main recording unit at home. So it's just a really versatile, handy unit, and compared to a lot of other units on the market that are just way, way more money, um, there's a lot of bang for the buck and you're getting some really excellent high quality sounds out of this guy. So if you like the 11 rack and you're interested in checking one out for yourself, um, just give us a call or check us out online at pointinproaudio.com or www.musicsquarestores.com. We're on Facebook um, or you can reply in the comments and uh, we can get in touch with you. So uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.